the year was 1985. I was at Biola University uh, getting ready for my finals. I happened to go into the library and um, that was just off the campus. I don't know if you know La if, how many of you know La Mirada or if you've heard of it or even Biola University. But, uh, but you know, you had uh, Biola, you had uh, Bamrata Boulevard, and right across the street was the uh, library, if I'm recalling correctly. So I'm walking into the I'm walking into the uh, public library, and I'm looking to see, you know, something that might take my mind off of uh, uh, the finals. And lo and behold, I find this little book called The Haunted Prophecy by David Eddings. That was a mistake. <laughs> I, uh, they sent me the wrong books. I'm going to have to, I don't know, maybe I'll keep them. Uh, Where was I going? Uh, I went to uh, I went to the books. I went to the library and found this little book called Pana Prophecy, which happened to be my gateway into the Bulgariad, which is a five book series by David Eddings, which dealt with uh, Garion, little uh, scullery boy. Who you know? This this series is like. 85 to 95, 95 to 2005, 2000. <laughs> you know, almost 40 years old, so I'm going to spoil it if you haven't. Who, who turns out to be the chosen one, the king of the Riva, the, the one who is meant to defeat the evil god Torak. Uh, along the way, he uh, finds out that his Aunt Pole is one of the greatest sorcerers in the world, second only to uh, Belgarath. His great grandfather, great 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 infinitum. Uh, he also turns out to be a sorcerer, and uh, he meets up with uh, Silk, Prince of Keldar of Drasnia, uh, Barak, Earl of Trelheim, uh, Hedar, the uh, Horse Lord, uh, Sinedra, his queen, his future queen, not quite yet. <laughs> It's really a great, uh, it's a great series. Unfortunately, Amazon screwed up and they sent me the second set, the Malorian. Uh, <laughs> they're beautiful books and I'm going to keep them. So I'm going to go ahead and open them. And so we're not going to talk about the Bilgariad anymore. We're going to talk about the Malorian. The Malorian takes place uh, a couple years after the Bilgariad. Uh, same set of characters. First book is Guardians of the West. Evil doesn't disappear. It just changes form. The evil god Torak is slain, and Garion, the long-awaited king of Riva, hopes for peace. And for a while, he gets his wish. But then a darker prophecy is revealed and new and more insidious forces gather. As danger mounts from all quarters and his son is kidnapped, Garion has no choice to follow his fate wherever it might lead. These are great books. Uh, they might, these days, uh, at least the first five books might be considered uh, young adult. Back in the day, it was clearly adult, but I don't, they didn't really have a young adult and adult. But, uh, you know, they, they might be considered young adult today. Oh, that's book five. I don't know if I should. Oh, I don't know if I should. There's the cover of Guardians of the West. Beautiful, beautiful books. I have these in hardbound, uh, but I, I love the covers. <laughs> so I, I went ahead and ordered them in paperback. Book two is King of the Murgos. He will travel even to the edge of the world. Garion and Sinedra are on a desperate journey to find their young son, Garin. His kidnapper is powerful and elusive with many disguises, but they must not give in to despair or all is lost. 
Their search leads to the foul swamps of Nysia and on into the dark kingdom of the Margos, where human sacrifices are still made to the dead god Torak. In the end, they must face the ultimate danger, not only to themselves, but to all mankind. Uh, Demon Lord of Coranda, Book 3. Some forces cannot be fought by human means. Garion's journey becomes ever more fraught with danger. He and his company must use every skill they possess to evade capture. Any delay will be fatal for his beloved son. They have no choice but to pursue the kidnappers wherever they go, even through a land reputed to be ruled by demons. A myth that turns out to be horrifically true. You know, I'm, I, I, I totally love these, these covers. They're great. Sorceress of Darshiva. Volume 4. The dark destiny will soon become clear. The Ashabin Chronic Oracles have been found. They carry a message from the evil god Torak, who Garion once destroyed, one that spells the end of all he thought he knew. A great battle of demons and men looms. The forces of good must ready themselves for attack, for attack from all sides, a war that is impossible to win, and that they cannot afford to lose. Book five, final book, The Seers of Kel. The final choice, darkness or light. The last clue has been found. It will lead Garion and his friends to the place which is no more. Xandramas awaits him there, and with him is Garion's son. Armed only with his ancestral sword, Garion, Garion must fight his way past demons and dragons to meet Xandramas and fulfill his destiny. But the prophecies require a great sacrifice. An impossible choice. Save the world, or the person you love. Uh, not bad. Uh, the printing is sort of smeared. Maybe it's because of the paper. Like I said, I have these in hardbound. Uh, I also think I have them in a Del Rey oversized edition. <laughs> I might even have them in paperback. I'm not sure. If you haven't read the Belgariad or the Mal well, so you have to start with the Belgariad first. If you haven't read that, do yourself a favor and pick it up right now and read it. You can get it on Kindle. You can get it on paperback. You can get it uh, probably at used bookstores. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Barnes and Noble. <laughs> uh, this is a series which I think every fantasy. Uh, Anyone who loves fantasy really needs to uh, get into at least once. Uh, I read it every, uh, at least the Belgariad I read every year, once you know, once a year, every year, uh, just because uh, I like the character so much. Uh, his prose is very easy, or I should say, their prose. It was later uh, stated that his wife helped him out on it, and you can see it on. Uh, Belgareth the Sorcerer, uh, the Riven Codex, and uh, Fulgara the Sorceress. I believe they share credit on that. Uh, these are really great novels. Uh, they're really easy. They're really quick to uh, get into. And, you know, it, if you haven't read them, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. Once again, uh, the Malor you know, read the Belgariad first, then get into the Malorian. When I get the Belgariad, we will do, uh, you know, we will do this. So it looks so good. <laughs> uh, you, you, you people who, who buy books and collect books understand. Uh, if there's a new printing, you're going to get it. <laughs> I am Bill West. I am the man in the middle. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. And, uh, you know. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Every co every couple of days I talk about something new and hopefully uh, entertaining. If not, then wait, because uh, I talk about everything. I talk about books. I talk about heavy metal. I talk about uh, science fiction, fantasy, cosplay, uh, Star Trek, Star Wars, Godzilla. Uh, if it's in the science fiction fantasy realm, I probably talk about it. <laughs> you know, uh, the Orville. Uh, I'm talking Doctor Who. You know, I, it's uh, you know, it's whatever I find cool. 
So, uh, I know not not everything I find cool, other people find cool, but uh, I hope enough of. I hope you find uh, that enough of what. Oh, model kits. I, Gundam. I'm a big Gundam fan. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting caught. Uh, once again, I you know, like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon.